Welcome fellas. In this video, we're going to continue on our road to figuring out what chat GPT can really do. So in this video, I set up a little bit of an experiment because we're going to focus more on coding, especially Python coding because Python is very popular. So I have the chat GPT opened up. If you guys don't know how to do it, I'll leave a link in the description. It's pretty simple to do. Go to OpenAI. Basically, the URL is openai.com forward slash blog forward slash chat GPT slash. Once you're there, click on this try uh, chat GPT, click on it, then sign up. Then it should bring you to a page that looks like this. So right on the bottom here, this is where you type in like any type of command or whatever you want it to do. There's a million different things it, it, it can do. We're going to explore every one of those things in another video. But for this video, we're just going to test out its Python code writing. So what I'm going to do is first ask this something very simple, like a uh, hello world. So I'm going to type in, can you write a hello world code for Python? Hit enter and it's thinking, it's thinking. All right, so, it, uh, so it's gonna write it right now. So it said, sure. So print hello world, that was it. <laughs> this code outputs a string hello world and it gives you a detailed instructions, including the code where you can actually copy the code here. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna copy the code. And now on the right here, I have something called Trinket. It's a web-based uh, free, uh, there's paid options. It's a free, uh, I think Python and a few other programming language IDE. So we're gonna paste it here. So it's Trinket, I'll leave a link to that in the description. This uh, URL is trinket.io forward slash Python three. So I pasted the code and all we have to do is we don't even have to save it. We just have to hit, hit run here and I'm gonna hit run. And then on the right side here, it printed out hello world. So I'm just gonna minimize the screen here so we can actually see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna adjust this other screen here so we have equal amount of space between both screens. All right, so it printed out the hello world. So, so far so good. Now what we're gonna do is let's delete this here. Let's try something else. Now we're going to ask it something else. I'm going to type in, uh, can you, can you write Python code to create a ran, let's say a ra random for the array. I asked it to create a random for the array and it said, sure. So within like a second, it's, uh, it's starting to write the code. Uh, finish writing the code and, and it gave us a description of the code. It said this code will create a 4D array with the shape 235. I'm sorry, uh, this code will create a 4D array with a shape 2345 and fill it with random values between zero and one, generating numpy random uh, dot rand functions. You can also use uh, numpy dot random dot rand end, which will generate random values from uh, from standard normal distribution. You can also specify the, the type of of array using D type. All right, so basically it gives us a few different options. So we're gonna try the first option here. Again, it prints out the code. So I can just click on copy code here, or I just copy this here. We're gonna paste it onto here and we're gonna try it out. So we're gonna hit uh, play and boom. <laughs> As you can see, it worked. All those uh, 4D arrays, these are all random 4D arrays, by the way. And we didn't have to Google search anything. So what I asked it is, can you create a Python TikTok game? It said, sure. So it's actually creating one for us right now. So I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'm excited to see if it actually works. All right, so it actually created the code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the code. We're gonna paste it. Let's see if it actually works. I'm curious to see. Well, this TikTok game, and this is a lot of code, by the way. So this, you know, chat GPT can pretty much do a lot of different things. It's very powerful when it comes to coding. It's also powerful in very other topics, but let's place it here and see what happens. We're gonna hit run. So it actually created the game right here. And now it's asking us to enter your, your move. I didn't read the instructions here. So this is the TikTok game and it's asking me to, uh, for my move. So I have to enter one to nine. So one, two, three would be whatever. So I'll hit two, two, then enter, boom. Okay, so the second player, it's turn. So uh, second player would be, oh, right. So I'll enter, I don't know, nine, hit enter. Wow, I am I am shocked that this actually works. <laughs> so if, if you guys haven't tried out chat uh, GPT, you should try it out. And it's not just for coding. This thing could be used to uh, write freaking essays, research, whatever you wanted to research. This is this thing is freaking amazing. I, I can't, I'm just so happy that this exists. So I'm going to create other chat GPT vi videos. If you guys are interested, please, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm Rustin from RustinForMonsterProtect.com and thank you guys for watching.